Welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Jose Jaramillo. I am the PDMX specialist here at Cat Micro Solutions, and today we're going to be talking about cold storage. So before we start, uh, I would like to show you first um, how is the archive server uh, creating the files in PDM. So uh, this is the typical view on the server uh, where all the files from the vault are mapped uh, into these folders. So as you can see, this is not a friendly accessible um, folder structure. This is the way that PDM automatically saves the, all the files in the vault into the PDM server. So now let's compare the vault view to this archive view. So this vault, as you can see, has some um, folders and inside those folders we have some projects and um, we have some additional files uh, with versions and references. And all of these things that uh, are here in the vault are mapped in one of these folders somewhere. So what we are going to do with the cold storage is to clean the archive server because sometimes it's going to grow a lot and we may not have enough space in our server and we just want to clean some of these versions that we are not going to be using. So now I'm going to go to the administration tool, I'm going to open my vault and I'm going to locate the cold storage schema node. Right click, select new cold storage schema and I'm just going to give it a name. Now for this case I'm just going to name this delete versions. Now I'm going to select which folders inside the vault I want to apply this to. I can select specific folders, but I'm just going to leave the root of the vault for this case. With the root selected, now we're going to set that to delete archive files here. If we can see, um, these files in the vault have uh, several versions. So what we're going to say is that we're going to keep a set number of versions um, let's say 5 and what that's going to do is for for example this file here that has two versions he's going to keep those two versions but this other file here with seven versions uh, we're going to keep those five most recent versions and then we're going to delete the two oldest versions so i'm going to put five here and also i am going to be able to select uh, if I want to move the versions with revisions into the cold storage as well. So I can not necessarily, I'm going to delete the revisions. So I'm just going to check this for, for uh, the cold storage not to delete those versions with revisions. Now we can set the interval uh, that we would like to have PDM checking for new versions created. So we can say every day at midnight or every hour of every day. So what this is going to do is um, it's going to check every hour of every day if there are new versions created that are beyond those five versions that we want to keep. We can set a custom uh, interval as well. So uh, I'm gonna set it like this, and this is gonna do every minute of every hour of every day. Now, if I hit OK, then um, I'm gonna be prompt, and he's going to make sure that I'm aware that I'm going to be deleting these uh, versions, these old versions, and that I'm not gonna be able to recover them. Now, I'm gonna say yes, and this is gonna save my closed storage schema, and now it's working. Now it's been more than a minute, so I'm gonna go back into my vault. I'm gonna go and check this file that has two versions. So since we've set more than five versions, um, this file is not gonna have any changes. So I'm just gonna select this one and go to history here. And this is gonna show me that nothing has happened uh, to these two versions of this file. Now, I'm going to go to my other file that has seven versions and 
what is going to happen here is that those two older versions are going to be moved into the local storage. So if you, we can see here in history, uh, it's showing that those two first versions of the file were deleted because that's the cold storage configuration. So now let's see what happens if we try to roll back to into those versions that uh, were moved into the cold storage and are now deleted. So I'm just going to hit here, roll back. I'm just going to select a deleted version, that is version number two. Uh, it's going to warn me that I'm not going to be able to recover my current version. I'm just going to say OK. And this is the error. Now the file is no longer in the error. So it's very important to be sure that we can delete those versions, those older versions, and we're not going to look for them in the future. So if we don't want to delete those versions, we can move it into a different drive or a different server or a different location outside the archive server. So instead of deleting them, I'm going to just say moving and select the move from um, the archive into a different folder. Now, we're gonna set a path in here, which is gonna say it's gonna be the backup folder, and we're gonna give it a media name. So the media name, it's just gonna create some uh, additional folders in there uh, with a given name, and every time it runs, it's gonna, it's gonna bring all those extra versions into this uh, new path, and it's going to be now outside the archive. So we can move it into a different file server, into an external hard drive, into a backup drive, or somewhere else uh, where we have plenty of storage or more storage than the um, location where we, where we have running our archive server. So that would be all for today. Thank you for joining another Tech Tip Tuesday, and see you next week.